What's going on, everybody? Wade with Swamp Donkey Archery. So, I kind of done a little thing for myself the other day. Um, I've never owned any of the really good, legit, what you consider high dollar camo. I've always been a, you know, $20, $25 uh, pants and shirt from uh, Walmart or Bass Pro or Academy. And it's worked for me. It's worked for me for 30 something years. So, I'm not discrediting anything like that. I mean, shoot, I've killed deer and shorts and crocs and uh short sleeve shirts hunting out of a box in i mean so i'm not discredited in cheaper camo but what i'm going to do today is i got my got my uh bag of camo in right here so i'm fixing to open it up i'm going to show y'all what i got let's see it kind of give my first thought first opinion on it and i'm planning on going and getting on a bow stand here right after i go through uh unboxing unbagging i guess we'll call it unbagging because it's in a bag and then uh we're gonna uh carry on with it so if you're wondering about scree gear this is what this is so stick around Smoking. Smoking. stakes right here and, uh... okay so like i said i splurged now i didn't get uh the the let me back up a little bit scree is a i guess it's a newer company i hadn't really heard of them until about a year ago uh supposedly whoa hang on there now we're about to go for a run uh they make uh like high quality camo at really not bad prices they have different packages, uh, different thickness, pants, shirts, jackets, and stuff. So I just kind of ordered a few individual products to see if I'm going to like it or not. Uh, so I just want to show y'all show y'all what, what I got and kind of let you know my, my opinions on it. So first one I'm going to open is going to be one of their shirts. This is the uh, Was Wasatch. Crew top. So we're gonna get this bad boy open up real quick. Uh, like I said, if I if I like this stuff, I'm gonna wind up ordering ordering a whole lot more. Um, first of all, check out that camo pattern. That is very very cool camo pattern. Um, so this is more of like a a, a base layer or a light. Uh, like a light shirt, like a light long sleeve shirt. Um, it's not, this one's not going to be super heavy. Uh, worked really good for uh, the earlier season, kind of like what it is right now. So this is like, a, it's a performance blend, but it feels a lot, uh, it's got a lot of polyester to it. It feels, uh, it's kind of a little bit stretchy, but it's also a little bit rigid. Uh, really liking this. So that's the shirt. I'm gonna open up these pants here. These are called the hard scrabble pants. And this camo pattern is called uh, Summit. Ooh, these pants feel nice. Okay, so initial thought. The camo pattern on this is amazing. Okay, uh, the feel feels nice. Uh, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to be very binding. Uh, it's going to have a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of give to it, but it's also rigid enough that I feel like you could walk through some briars, light briars and stuff, and not really snag this. Uh, this is pretty cool. On the inside the waistband, it's got this little rubber strip right here. So if you uh, tuck your tuck your shirts and stuff in, it's going to keep your shirt tucked in. It shouldn't untuck if you pull up for uh taking a shot with your bow or something um lots of pockets man i like pockets uh it's got your regular pockets it's got a zip up pouch here zips on the back uh something pretty cool about this it's got this little zipper on the side which is a vent zipper for uh if you uh gear up and you're walking in you start getting a little bit hot you can uh 
can open up that little vent right here, kind of cool yourself off. And these are some cool pants. All right, and then my last item I got here is a hoodie. Uh, it's called the Mad Trap. Is it Mad Trap? I think it's supposed to be Mad Trapper hoodie. So for right now, the earlier season here, I'm figuring just a lighter, uh, long sleeve shirt, the pants, and a hoodie would be more than sufficient for what I have now to kind of give everything a go. Oh man, this is this is a nice hoodie. It's a nice hoodie. So it's, uh, like I said, same type finish, kind of a slick finish. Feels like this. I don't know if this would be 100% waterproof, but I bet it's water resistant. It's got some really cool scree mountain logo in the front. Does have your, your pocket, your uh, pockets right here on the front, like your normal hoodie. Um, nice cuff on it. Man, oh, I like I like this. If this stuff performs like what I think it's going to, this is going to be uh, it's going to be some really cool stuff. Like I said, I've never owned high dollar stuff before. I've never owned like Sitka gear or Treason, anything like that. Any of the uh, popular newer stuff that's out right now. So I can't give you a side by side comparison, my opinion or whatever on it compared to the other stuff because I've never never bought stuff like that. But I will say the hard scrabble pants, this little light undershirt, and the hoodie after shipping and everything was just a touch. Let's see, I got the price here somewhere. Um, it was just a touch over 200 bucks. I think it was like 220 something dollars. So not bad. It's a lot of money if you're used to spending less than 100 bucks on your entire setup for the year. So like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna gear up in this. I'm gonna go get on deer stand here in just a little bit. And I'm going to give you my opinion of it, uh, like going to the stand, hunting, whatever. Today be a good day to try it out because it's uh, low 60s right now. So, you know, kind of might be on the warm side walking in. And then temperatures are going to drop pretty fast there toward, uh, there toward dark. So I'll let you know how it does. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, so fitment of this stuff is nothing short of amazing fit and quality. Um the the shirts are still set up as you know small large extra large or whatever but when it comes to the pants the pants are uh in sizes like what you'd wear 30 32 34 36 is are in size twos um i like them. the the waist is high enough to be kind of a high waist but it don't feel like your urkel way up here they're not super low riding so I don't feel like the, the guys, the crotch is going to come way down right here and rub your raw spot right here. Like, you know, some of the less expensive stuff does. Um, these hard scrabble pants are a little thicker than what I thought, but I think they're going to be fine for like a mid, mid to late season. These may be a little bit thick for uh, early season. You know, so if you're looking at upper 60s, 70s, and 80s, these may be a little on the warm side, but... I'll be able to tell that today because it's upper 60s, but like I said, it's going to be dropping. Um, the uh, fitment on the the shirts are comparable to anything else that I had on higher higher end, higher quality stuff. As far as like hoodies, you know, like your Under Armour hoodies. Uh, this is an extra large. Um, I'm about five nine. I wear extra large and everything else. Sleeves fit. Sleeves fit nice. The shirt underneath fits real good. Um, it's got a nice quality hood. Pulls up. It's not like super tight on your head, but it's still loose enough. You can pull it up over your hat. Everything's good. Uh, pockets. I think this is fixing to be a killer setup. So, yeah, we fixed it. Okay, so. Giving a pretty good clip of a walk. Trying to hurry up and get to the stand. Sorry. Dropped my wife off at her stand, walked her in and out. So, 62. The this hoodie is almost on the verge of being too much with a long sleeve shirt walking, but I'm sure it'll be fine once we get stopped. The pants, surprisingly, have not done bad at all. I thought they may be a little on the warm side, but they're not. See, that's great right there. Okay. So, 
So far, I'm impressed. Okay. So, like I said, medium to heavy walk on the way in. Kind of hooking it pretty good. Um, broke white sweat. Um, got in stand. Everything set up. Situated. Just got steel. Um, I can feel where it's kind of pulled the sweat away from my body, so I'm not, uh, I'm not sweaty at all. Actually, already starting, my body's starting to cool down a little bit. So, I think, uh, it's going to be some pretty good stuff. So, anyhow, now let's get ready for the hunt. Alright, so, back from the hunt. I'm going to, uh, kind of finish the review up, uh, give my last thoughts on it. So, now that I've, I've unbagged it, Put it on, tried it on, hunted in it, walked around in it. Um, after the hunt this evening, I'm just gonna say I'm I'm a little uh, little dissatisfied, uh, just on the small side there, cause uh, apparently I thought maybe buying like some really nice camo and uh, going to hunt it would help me kill a, a big old buck and it didn't. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. <laughs> so, but man. Absolutely nothing negative to say about this stuff. Amazing quality. Um, <clears throat> while I was hunting out there, uh, of course, the temperature dropped a little bit. Of course, it's Louisiana, so, you know, it's not going to drop a whole lot. But we went from uh, 62, whatever it was, 62, 63 when I got out of the truck down to probably mid-50s by the time I got back to the truck. Uh, wind stayed blowing most of the time I was out there around probably around 10 miles an hour 12 something like that just a little gust here and there constant constant small wind and then uh gust probably 10 somewhere between 10 and 15. uh the the uh mad trapper jacket hard scrabble pants done very well uh cutting the wind felt zero wind through it um nowhere even remotely close to being on the cool side of comfortable uh everything felt real nice um like i said uh, once I got up in the stand, sweated a little bit, uh, getting there, probably walked. Between between walking my wife to her stand and uh, out and then me to my stand, uh, probably walked half a mile or so. So, you know, broke a, broke a mile of sweat. But by the time I got to the stand, uh, everything had done, you know, pulled away nice and dry. Um, the only thing that I noticed on this gear was when I was walking, you know, pretty fast, trying to high step it, getting to my stand. These uh, hard scrabble pants, you know, it's it's a little a little kind of uh, stiffer uh, material than the shirt that I got here. You get here, you know, legs kind of rubbing together a little bit, but nothing nothing extreme at all. Just I would say a little louder than uh, than a pair of blue jeans. But once I slowed it down to more of a stealthy walk absolutely zero issues there guys i'm telling you um i was kind of hesitant on spending you know a little bit more money on some decent gear um i'm uh, i'm very satisfied with it i will be purchasing more i would recommend this to anybody even though this is my first day first day using it checking it out so far very very impressed um I guess uh, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up about right there. Y'all uh, hit me up in them comments down there. If you got any uh, questions, uh, shoot me a text or a message on on something. Get a hold of me. If you want to know anything else about it, like I said, I will be purchasing a little more. Uh, maybe a jacket, probably a neck gaiter, some gloves, stuff like that. So, uh, Scree Gear is definitely uh, definitely one of my support. So I will be getting more of their products. Uh, Y'all be sure and. Uh, like this video if you don't mind. Sub to my channel. Hadn't already done it. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Thanks everybody for following me along. Y'all have a good one. Good luck this season. Hope everybody smokes some big old swamp donkey. Y'all have a good one. Way with swamp donkey archery. Mm -hmm.